Vinegar, but not as we know it. Seasoned with fruit, herbs, and spices, it can be a very unusual way of tickling the palate. Georg Wiedemann regularly invites visitors to sample different vinegars at the Doktorenhof, and a few sips is all it takes to banish any lingering doubts the punters might have. When you first suggest people might like to try a sip of vinegar, they're taken aback and say, ugh, vinegar, far too acidic to drink. But once they've tried it and actually taste it, they like it and they often want more. No one ever says, we don't like it. They all want to top up. They love a taste of vinegar. Wiedemann's fine vinegar is mature in these old barrels for up to three years. The Doktorenhof is the only vinegar manufacturer with its very own vineyards. The Wiedemanns have been making wine for 450 years, and they've been turning it into vinegar for 20. We're going to remain a family business. We have no intention of expanding, and we'll continue to farm our vineyards, our meadows and fields the way we always have. We'll be turning what we harvest in the vineyards into vinegar, and we'll continue to do it in the future. This is where the ingredients for the vinegars are stored. Georg Wiedemann likes to experiment with different flavors, but often works with century-old recipes. There were times when vinegars with herbs were very popular, from 1500 to the late 1700s. Then they became less popular, and then they were back in demand around 1900, when courtly vinegars came in. So you have to keep looking at old recipes and maybe combine them with more modern recipes. A further attraction for visitors is the guided tour through the vinegar cellar, dressed in monks' habits, partly for reasons of hygiene and partly to create a very special atmosphere. People have known about vinegar's healing and disinfecting properties, as well as how good it can taste for many centuries. But today, a lot of that knowledge has been forgotten. Wiedemann has been making vinegar exclusively since 1992 and carries out all the production stages himself. He determines how much vinegar is left in the barrel in the traditional manner. People don't teach that anymore, unfortunately, so I had to gather all the information myself. I collected old books from bookshops, and then I used them to draw up guidelines on what happens, how it's done, how it is properly fermented, and so on. Georg Wiedemann designs some of the labels in his studio. His paintings are also enrolled for the cause as motifs for the labels. There are currently some 30 different varieties of vinegar at the Doktorenhof. We have a large number of gourmets and people who just like to cook or eat healthy food. They all come here. We also have quite a number of visitors from around the world who've heard of us and said to themselves, let's have a look and see how it tastes. Worldwide demand for these vinegars far exceeds the amount produced, and that won't change in the future because the Doktorenhof intends to remain what it is, small but exceptional.